Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake, you're here for another reaction. And today, we're reacting to The Last of Us, Episode 4. Have you all recovered yet? Because I have not. I have, throughout this week, just been... Firstly, the views on the last uh, episode uh, were actually the best it's been in for a while for me. Uh, so thank you but I've got a lot of uh, more followers a bunch of followers uh, due to that so welcome if you are here you've 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 subscribed to the channel uh, but have you recovered because I haven't I've still been watching other people's reactions throughout um, I've been seeing stuff all over Twitter Twitter has just been a just a field a minefield of just emotional posts <laughs> just sort of like fan cams and <clears throat> like sorry people's artwork it's been it's been lovely but it's been heavy on art <laughs> and yeah and whilst watching obviously i i lost my shit constantly and then whilst editing i was losing my shit whilst editing so i was double crying watching me cry whilst also one remember it was horrible but at the same time what a beautiful episode one of the best episodes of television i've watched in a while in a good while it's been, if not, it's up there. It's it was spectacular. It was, it was painfully beautiful, and I'm just so glad that they deviated from the story to give us a different version of. Because let's put it this way, we're just gonna get kicked in the bollocks throughout this show, and it's gonna be because we're gonna be. It's horrible things are going to happen, but at least when this one happened, it was sad, but we got something before it that was so beautiful and I can only say oh, my camera's now decided to thank you and and yeah and that's all I could say really it's that it's yeah I didn't think when turning into this episode this show but especially that episode no one I got built I didn't think I was going to get one of the best love stories of our time and here, here we are here I am a fucking broken man <laughs> As for this episode, uh, I, I believe I know where this is going now in story-wise trajectory. Whatever happens this episode, I'm fairly certain it's going to be not what last episode was like. So uh, I haven't had to prepare my myself mentally, you know. I haven't decided, like, like at the end of, like, don't get wrong, it's still a reaching distance in my whiskey. It's all up there. But I still can only, like, you know, I haven't thought I'm going to need a drink. Because there's no way they're going to gut punch me two weeks in a row. Right? We'll have to see. But I, I, have, I know where this is going story-wise compared to the game. So uh, I like to think that it won't be as much as a emotional journey for me. But I'm still expecting... No, I'm expecting the unexpected, I guess. That's what that's what was good about last week's episode. I thought I knew where I was going with this. And it just fucking killed me. And I'm happy it did. So uh, yeah, this episode, I guess... Because I left last week's, episode, last week's episode was so heavy, we didn't get an intro. So I'm kind of hoping we get another intro of stuff that happened pre or at the start of the of the uh, infection or just post after it so we got to look at that's what I'll, I'll be interested in that so um but if not i'm not gonna let it. that's i think that's my only sort of hope i think for this episode is that we might get something like that but if not they don't do it i expect them to still deliver a quality episode but i rather than just carry on yapping because i'm actually quite desperate to get into watching, watching this episode um i will just sort of just jump in so i hope i enjoy this episode and i hope you enjoy this reaction and if you do, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. That would be soup But other than that, guys, camera. Let's not, let's do our best not to try and cry, but we more than likely probably will. <laughs> other than that, we'll see you on the other side. Also, I actually decided to wear uh, one of my gilets from my old job. I worked at Waitrose, the supermarket. So thought I'd uh, represent... Boo! This episode's the worst one already. No, it's not. It's probably going to be the best. <laughs> You're talking to me? Is <laughs> what she doing? Oh, I love her. I do love her. <laughs> pew pew, fuck off. <laughs> oh 
my eyes twitching already. He must be thinking she's taking a large dump. Gravity because pressure. You don't know. <laughs> I had no idea either. I thought he was teaching me there. It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. Oh my god, it's the jokes. It's the joke book. Volume two. Look, you get it? An algebra. <laughs> oh my god, the reading, but it has some interesting pictures. No, no, no. There it is, guys. How do you even walk around with that thing? Oh, your horses. I don't think pages are stuck together. I'm just fucking with you. Oh, wow. Fucking hell, look at that. Oh, wow. Is he just. That's it, just bam, just fuck it, let's go, let's go into the forest. Fanghorn forest. Jesus Christ. This is slow. <laughs> this is too remote for infected anyway. People? Horrible bastard people. Rape you. Yeah. Way more in mind than that. Yep. I mean, think about it, right? If the people that are stuck in there, they don't go out, which is fair enough, they don't go out. Uh, <clears throat> then they won't know that the that their raiders are out there, you know, out all all about their raping and cutting their limbs off and for their shoes and stuff like that. It's horrendous, but you know, but they won't know because they're inside the walls of the QZ, um, and that's all they know. So that's all they will know. But <sighs> these are. Uh, these other people have had to find different ways of living, and <laughs> they're scum. It smells kind of good. Well, that would be Frank then. <laughs> How can you sleep? How can you sleep? Joe. <laughs> Why does it scare Corbin? For fuck's sake! Because it was outstanding in this field. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, right? Actually, just seeing that bit there. Imagine that. Twenty years gone by, no polluting on the on the scale and which it, which it is now, in the open as well. The vast of that. How lovely would it be not only just to breathe in that fresh air, but also at night how there will probably be nothing like you saw blocking the sky, so you can see all the stars. It's. I'm jealous of them. That's it. That's good. He's reassured her. He's reassuring me. Don't know whether I believe it. Papa Bear watching over. There he is. There's Papa Bear watching over. Smells like birch. <laughs> ah, I'm indifferent with coffee. Like, oh, this is just going to be me telling me my preference here, but... I actually know. I, I think I enjoy the smell of coffee, especially when it's fresh. Uh, I have an espresso machine, and and I, I know people that make it for, like for the fresh coffee, like in like the, the whole fucking thing, and it smells lovely. But sometimes it can just take less just to smell like crap, and there is some that just taste like crap. But you can say the same thing about tea. I'm more of a tea person. That's what I'm drinking right now, anyway. So thought I'd let you guys know I'm a tea person. Okay. Oh wow. It's a little backstory I didn't know. I'm not family. <laughs> Yet. Cargo. I made a promise to test. We'll see, buddy. How do you know? I'm persistent. <laughs> yes, you are, buddy. I'm not even tired. <laughs> uh oh. This is where I thought we were coming to. <laughs> I mean, I think yep, here they are, the fucking animals. Put your seatbelt on. Mm hmm. Are you gonna help him? No. Yep, he's not even hurt. Joel, grab that fucking gun, mate. Grab it. God, this is a bit more tense than I want it to be. Come on. 
They're not gonna hit you. Oh, well done, Joel. You got one. Fuck yeah. Oh, I'm annoyed I didn't get to see it now. Oh. Yeah, Ellie, hurry up. Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. I mean, yeah, thank you. There was a chance she might have shot him and the bullet went through him into Joel, but that's okay. Now, nah, fuck him, shoot him, shoot him, Joel, shoot him. Fuck this bitch, shoot him. Joel, blow his fucking head off. Yeah, come on, let me hear the blade go in. Yeah. Mm. Don't care. I'm okay. I'm good. Ah, you just kind of uh, nearly killed someone. Yeah, fuck Brian, mate. Mark Anthony Halpin. Oh, I know Mark Halpin. Actually, hold on. I actually think Mark's middle name is Anthony. I'll have to find out. Anyway. I haven't seen him. You know where Henry is. Oh, no. Henry. Henry! He put a gun to my head. Oh. She, okay. She I means business. I'm your doctor. I mean, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, is he the only doctor left? Maybe. She's not going in just to shoot the doctor now, is she? Oh shit, she is. I'm just She's a bit of a savage, isn't she? And he won't stop. We, did they say we the people? Uh oh. Hello you. I know you. I must admit, they're showing a different light. Again, firstly, listen. Uh, in case it does, uh, further on in this episode, we don't f find out about Henry. But Henry's obviously in the game. I won't go too much of it. But they're giving a lot of stuff here to the back backstory to Henry that we don't know. Which is, uh, which is good. I, I didn't realise, again, This I didn't realise I need to know this. And now it's interesting. We're going to get more about this. Why they're so hell-bent on it, you know? It makes it makes sense. Uh, I also don't remember like thinking about it in the game. There was loads of them. They always just kept a pop up, and it was constant. I'm like, why are these? Why? I, why is there so many? And it makes sense that they completely have a. Uh, they, yeah, they've they've taken an entire bloody QZ. Well, not taken a crisis. They've they've uh, what's the word? Uh, they they staged a coup, and now they are in charge. There we go. That's it. Be a daddy. Just say thank you. You should know what it means. I get it. But just say thank you. Ah, like oh, come on, man. I could have been. Yeah, you really. Have. <laughs> I mean, he's trying. He's doing. He's doing better than what he did in the game, I guess. My chair went down a little bit there. <laughs> oh, that's okay. cute. That actually hit me a little harder than I expected. Simple but cute. We'll get through this. I know. Oh, these two, man. Right, I don't. What, 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 what are we after here? Like, yeah, I get that. Yeah, but like, what's happened here? What's he done? I can't work out. Fuck. Excuse me, what, what? What are we looking at here? Fuck. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're just gonna tick. Yeah. Okay. You're just gonna tick my balls like that. Okay. Yeah. Right. So this is definitely a bloater, right? Has to be. Right. Oof. Oh, no. That's no. that's a lot. That's a lot of flights of stairs. Oh, guys, I'm exhausted for you. 
That's too many stairs. I don't kill people. Ooh. That's a question to ask. This world can make a demon out of you, can it? I feel lazy, yeah. <laughs> 56 years old, you little shit. Oh, he's 56. Okay. That's, uh, that's new information. I don't think I knew his age. <clears throat> I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? If going off the game, it's obviously been 20 years. Going off the game, he's had a young teenage uh, Sorry, off of this, sorry. And also the game, but mainly off, off this, we'll go for this. He said it's been 20 years since the pandemic. He had a young teenage daughter. Uh, so let's call her about, what, 13, 14? So, you know, kind of makes sense. So even if he had her at the age of, well, apparently 22. 20, he had her at the age of 22. So that means that by the time that she was, uh, the pandemic hit or something like that, especially 36 and then 20 years out. Shit, man. He really is. He is an old bastard. I've just realised. How old is Pedro? He's not that old. He's, nah, he's not that old, right? I don't think so. Don't do another joke, Ellie. Don't do it. Hey. Yeah. He's doing it. Okay. When we were talking about Oh, people. maybe not. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to talk about it. Ooh, that shut sure her the fuck up. Alright. That's the first. For him. The reason I asked whether you hear the classroom I've noticed you don't hear it too well from the other side. Is it because you were shot there? Probably more from shooting. Holy shit, yeah. That, how did she notice that? Stick to that knife. Even though I told you that, it's hereditary. What? Yeah. It reminds me of a tree. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you love it, y'all. Yes, it is. Right in the lap. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. So are we getting a heart warning? No, I was going to say heart warming ending. Probably not. <laughs> Should have thought better of myself to think that. Oh, well, okay. This is a... All right. All right, boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That was a different introduction. I like it. I like it. And that, guys, was my reaction to The Last of Us Episode 4. Well, that was completely different from last week's episode, and I'm very glad. It was... Um, Again, kept the same sort of route, but had different stuff in it. Peppered in elements of the game, and then had its own thing. It was it was really good, really really good. As, uh, I I wouldn't obviously it's it's as, again compared to last week, everything's going to seem a lot calmer, like on the heart. But um, there was a lot of things I found interesting that they went with for this episode. Um, they obviously what they're doing to fleshing out their relationship a lot more, Joel and Ellie's. And I, uh, I very much appreciate that. Um, I think that we do not get as much time, I think, in the games. Um, oh, my camera's been a bitch. There we go. Yeah, as in the games like to just sit in their relationship. You're, it's, it's obviously you get the cutscenes and stuff like that, but you sort of like... Yeah, I, feel, I, I I still don't know. Okay, so listen, the game, it's still, it's spectacular in the sense of what it does and how it makes you feel and stuff like that. But, I don't know. We're getting more of the cutscenes than normal uh, rather than it just be, uh, where it's just them talking and being with each other. Rather than it be like, I'm talk, Ellie's talking and I'm searching for salvage. So I'm, just, I'm like, yeah, 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 I react to it. And then I'm looking around trying to find something or... Yeah, I, I, just, I just really appreciate it. So I'll just go through my notes. Um, so <clears throat> the opening of her in the mirror with the gun, that's just, that's, just, that's just such a kid thing to do, but also an Ellie thing to do. To just still be there with you. Just, 
I would okay, you know, like listen, like I straight away was like, You talking to me? And then and you know when someone would say something badass, that's what you like in the like, well, you talking to me? That's the badass thing you would sort of say in the mirror. Ellie's just there just going Pew pew <laughs> Oh, she's great. So good. Um The Joke Book. That whole thing with the joke book was great. That all seemed like the background of everything, like how des- uh, destitute it looks. Uh, uh, him trying to explain to how to siphon ga- uh, gas, uh, but obviously not knowing himself. And she's like, mm, you don't know. And again, I was there like going, right, go on, te- te- teach me, Papa Pedro. And he <laughs> he was just sort of making up, which is fair enough. I'm all for it. But yeah, but that whole thing with the joke book as well, that was... That was great. I love that. I, I love that they included the joke book in it. It's so such a silly thing. I like how they incorporated it more in this one where you actually got them to like to enjoy it as you get towards the end. But but yeah, because even when like she's saying him, you know he's kind of still trying to be like your your cargo, like, like you know, sort of like that's what you are, your cargo. You're nothing. You mean nothing to me. And so then it's like, oh, shut up, shut up. Enjoy the jokes. And it was great. <laughs> it was. See that slight thing, but you knew he was going to, you know, he was eventually going to break him down. Um, we finally got the porn mag, so everyone's saying sort of like, how do we know that Bill was gay? And trust me, I didn't know that Bill was gay. <laughs> I just thought he had a porn mag in in the van and, or the car, and that was it. Or she picked it up whilst he was at and saying, that's what I, how I sort of thought of it in the game. I never assumed, if, again, I'm just probably, I'm just sort of just gone about like life just sort of like, La, 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 la. Oh no, sorry, not life, but the po- post apocalypse. I'm not thinking of a relationship, <laughs> anything. Like that. I didn't see them. I just thought this is a post apocalyptic world. It's just you know, I didn't expect. I didn't think of anything really to do with him and Tess up until only re- re- recently replaying it as well. There was a little hint, uh, and then there was this one we got it. Uh, but again, I didn't think of anything of a, a emotional relationship in this world apart from their friendship that they built. Um, so. Um, yeah, so we we finally got the porn mag, so that's uh, that 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 was a good little thing. So the people that wanted it just like the game get their porn mag thing. Um, yeah, so the whole thing where she's going through where it was like a wow road trip, Papa. So then suddenly then she's like, wow, I'm bored. This place has actually been is fucked up. It's it's not it's not as beautiful as it is. Like look at there, there's like a trains collapsed on like the railway and so like and it's like okay let's get into the woods i mean that's that's what i mean is that we got a little quiet moment in the woods where again they're eating shitty little tins of uh what was it ravioli was it i think so little tins of ravioli and then they uh yeah had that little moment where he was then talking her to through talking her through talking her through things but then even just um, what's I write down here? I'll put down, yeah, when he was warning up the raiders, that was it. Um, yeah, the warns are the warning of the raiders, what could be out there. I must admit, I put these down, these raiders down more to be like the other ones, like a little bit more, you know, scumbaggy. It looks like they're more of a revolution against Fedra. And obviously we know we got, we got that in, uh, in the game as well. Like throughout, throughout that people, they did stand up against Fedra, but I'm if I'm, unless I'm getting mistaken, I thought these ones were more in the game, more like savages, less than an actual community that have risen up, you know. Um, so that's why I thought they're like when there was like raiders, they're going to be out there. What's that? Yeah, yeah. So I thought I thought they were going to be. Um, I thought they were going to be uh, a little bit more savage. That's 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 my whole thing. But we'll get to that there. But then to her, obviously. The joke book as well. She would, yeah, she did a joke just before bed. And he guessed it. I'm not going to listen. It was good. It was a good guess. I, I, I'm I I'm not really the best of those stupid jokes, to be honest. Um, but then they have that moment where he had to reassure her just before she went to bed, before she could sleep. And then you knew that even though he reassured her, or her he didn't reassure himself. And then, then we see we see him then, then and there just sort of like, Watching out, looking over her, looking over himself, obviously, but looking over her, like, yeah. Papa Bear, gotta protect. Um, yeah, so then we get, I wrote down, uh, <laughs> yeah, Coffee and Tommy. So, 
Again, we had a little talk about coffee, but, you know, because that's what he said. Did he say in the first episode, I miss coffee or something like that? And there you go, he, got, he had his coffee there. Um, but yeah, find out what about he said about Tommy, about him doing their own sort of thing. He was looking at, mainly looking after Tommy, uh, him being a mer- not mer- he was in, he, he joined, was it, he, he, what did he say? He, he joined the, well, he went to Desert Storm. But I can't remember, he said he joined the, was it the army? He didn't say the army. Did he? Anyway, he, he joined some form of the government's elite squad of killers and then didn't feel like a hero come back. And it sort of makes sense that it, he sort of was chasing to be the hero of a impossible scenario. So he saw the desert storm with, with fireflies and, you know, and then, so it's good, yeah. And again, obviously he was like trying to say that he's young as well. So... So he has a lot of time to sort of find something that would ground him. Uh, which, of course, we're well, yeah, I think it's... Uh, we'll see later on if anything like that happens. Um, but yeah, good to get that a little bit more backstory on Tommy. Um, Kansas Raiders. And I just thought that was... Uh, I just think that's a great name for... Uh, like, if... Uh, if there was like if we had like the what was it called it um, the Warriors game you remember the Warriors game or at least the film the Warriors but the Warriors game if there was like a group of ga- like a gang the Kansas Raiders I just picture them just you know in jean jackets and stuff like that I don't know um, yeah oh yeah so but the but the Kansas Raiders them sort of like again just like the game like you see them sort of like trying to work it out but. They have to, you have to make things. I'm just so annoyed that they got all that shit. And I, I remember just in the game. Well, in the game, we more more so just got the... the. This is my thing. Is in the game, we got the truck and we left Bill doing his thing. And we were like, right, we got the truck. We got a little bit of supplies, but it was mainly the truck. Let's get out of here. This one, they had a shit ton of supplies. Now they have barely anything. And it's just... It's, just, it's something that I, I hate here. And when I play the games, and it's just like... And, and even this, I was like, they had so much stuff. And now... All the hard work, everything that made them in a much value, more like powerful position, it's over there. <laughs> it, it's it's I hate it, but but then to have the crash just like in the game, have the guys like push like push into them. Um, again, we got Ellie's first kill at a bit of a different time. Um, sort of in the same way, there was suffocation involved. Yeah, uh, but we got in a different way, I guess. Um. And we got the kid. I wrote down, rather than I put mummy, uh, mummy, uh, mummy's dead boy. There we go. I, I mean, now in hindsight, maybe I'm there thinking this bitch be a raider, and who's he's no way he's got a mother, all that sort of shit. I was like, get, get this fuck out of here. But now he actually might have his mum. And I'm starting to think, maybe they he wasn't as bad as maybe we thought. Oh, well, I definitely thought, but I think I'll. I'll keep my, yeah. I'll, 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 I'm gonna stick with it that I'm sort of kind of glad he's dead. They might just pull the rope from under me, and be like, "Oh no, these these people are proper innocent." But then again, I it might still be like, they're actually bastards, so they enjoy it. But yeah, I, I'm kind I'm kind of trying to rethink whether I might have been a bit too much of a savage, you know. Um. Yeah, I put Henry's... They put that, oh, this is Henry's work. So, listen, your woman's obviously helped start the revolution or she was part of it or at least she's in, in charge of something. But, firstly, she's killed a doctor and he thought he was safe. Well, I'm fairly certain we didn't see her kill him, but I'm going to assume that that's who she did kill. Uh, but she... Still does, because she's like, well, if the doctor if the doctor can't even save these people, might as well just kill him now. So we don't need him if he can't, if, if the, if he can't even be saved himself. So... But yeah, but what's Henry done? What has he done? That's what I would like to know. And I, can, and I guess we'll find out in the next episode, but it's fucking annoying that I don't know right now. Um, for, that to, for them to be like that, for him to be hidden away for so long, to be checked, it's, it's very, very annoying. Um, I wrote down heart to heart to... G- I think my camera went a little bit. My camera might light went a bit up. Like that. Yeah, I went heart to heart to two guns. So they had their nice little moment where it was like a, a bit, a moment I didn't expect us to get from Joel. Especially so quickly after the, because again in the game, he's a little bit sort of like a, 
bit of an asshole straight away about it, as in like fucking should have done it what I tell you all that sort of stuff. Um, but he's he was more respectful for her, trying his best, was failing, but he said I'm sorry, and or oh, thank you. I can't remember either way. It shocked me to my core. Uh, so, but again, I, again, it's like a, I'm seeing more of a sort of a. It's more. It's more of a relationship now, you know, and maybe they're just increasing because we know we've got X amount of episodes left to sort of see it through. But yeah, yeah, it's nice. I like it. Um, yeah. Okay. So the thing in the floor, bloater, has to be right. There's no other way that is not a bloater. Yeah. Yeah. Because it says there's the thing in the second game, and it could be, but I think it's the bloater. There goes my pencil. Yeah, I think it's the bloater. So we'll have to we'll have to see. But if we get that if we get that next episode, holy cow, holy cow, it's going to be shit hitting the fan. Oh, that's mean they're like even he was like, what are we gonna do? We have to get a switch. We said lock it in for now. Either that place is fucked, or they're gonna have to like, how are they gonna destroy it? the game? Listen, I found bloaters somewhat easy. You know, like it isn't it. it Hear me out, but they never really got me. I, I I was fairly simple. I always looted enough to know that I could ha I had X amount stored up, uh, and I could uh, yeah, I could fucking yeah take them on. So I'm not so I'm interested because listen, we saw the how they they killed the clickers in the um in episode two, and it was pretty hard to kill the clickers there. So I'm starting to think you know that. Maybe if those were hard to kill, because let's, let's put it this way. If I had the revolver that Joel had, uh, three shots to the head would definitely kill the clicker. Um, if not two, but fairly certain three. Um, he shot him about, you know, six times and he was still trying to get him. So I'm starting to think uh, they might be a little bit harder. So the bloater might be pretty hard when it comes out. But we'll have to see. Um, yeah, the whole thing with the terror. So... <clears throat> them climbing over, climbing in. Having, again, they're having that little jokey banter already. I love it. Uh, then the whole climbing up. Finding out Joel's age was a little bit weird as well. It still has it like sort of resonated well with me. I'm just like, oh, my boy's actually quite old. <laughs> so, yeah. So, he's, yeah. So that whole thing, them climbing up, him being shattered, her sort of being like, come on, get up, let's do this. Him putting the glass down. I know, listen, the glass comes into effect in the games, but I didn't consider him putting it down as like a booby trap. Makes sense. Um, yeah. And then him having that moment to sort of like talk to Ellie, see if she wants to talk. She wasn't. And him sort of to be like, listen, I'm here. I'm open. And then obviously then Ellie doing the diarrhea joke. Now it's a diarrhea joke. And they had, and listen... It's it's funny. They both are. And it was that like little nice, simple moment that I knew that we would get. I just didn't know if we were going to get the payoff by the end of this episode. We did. It was as if he actually found it funny. He could actually get a smile on his face. Then bonding. And him actually feeling like he could sleep. He's secure. And then by actually feeling a little bit secure and that he could sleep. Look what happens. Fucking. Uh, he gets snuck up on by Henry and Sam. And... It's a great entrance for them. It's different from the game. Uh, in the sense that uh, they're hiding. In the sense that, well, in the game they're hiding as well. We just happen to be entering a room. Uh, Sam, uh, Henry, Henry tries to get Joel and then it's like a, oh, I'm ready to fuck you. And then everyone's sort of like ready to get each other. And then it's like, oh, right, hold on. Let's help each other out. This one, it was like, a, right, it's, it's, a, it's a wake up fucking... Yeah, we're 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 in shit here, and then Sam like listen, he's little, like even though it's like a shh to obviously be like shh to fuck up, but yeah, that's a little bit creepy. That I he didn't have that sort of like superhero element to him before. I don't think I don't remember that. I de I know there was something to do. There was definitely the oh, get this back. I won't go for it. Okay, there's a, a poignant moment later on, but I don't necessarily remember it being like a. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember in the game looking at him and him having like painted on fucking thing. Before. I wouldn't have taken him seriously. 
Um, but yeah, so that's that was the end of the episode. It, like I said, it was a completely different turn on what was last week's, and last week's was amazing. And this one was it was so so good, but in different reasons. It progressed the story more, which is great. Uh, last week's episode, it didn't necessarily progress, but it still made the story better. So. Like we're yeah we're in for, yeah we're in for a treat each week. I don't give a shit what anyone says, and I'm happy. I'm just happy to see this adapted in a, in that's true to the story, but in a different way at the same time. And I trust them with the adaptation of the first game. And that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there, guys. So great for a great fourth episode of an already outstanding series. So if you like this video, guys, please like the video, comment down below. What did you think of the wee changes that they've done through this? What was your favorite bit? How how nice was it that I have Joel and Ellie laugh together? Just comment down below, let me know what you thought. If you like these types of video, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, get a notification every time I upload. There's a bunch of other reactions around here with me. Uh, my by myself there's other reactions with me and my little brother doing Doctor Who there's reactions to me and my mate Josh doing um, the Man Marvel Cinematic Universe he never seen those films so we're doing that as well have a look see what takes your fancy other than that guys camera there uh, uh, there we go I'll see you out there <laughs>